Yeah, doing pretty well, Don. Um, hoping that uh, we can uh, get things uh, kind of set up here and uh, sounding okay. I, um, I'm recording this as well, so uh, not, not live streaming, but recording it so I can go back and review it. I'll post it to YouTube later and uh, is unlisted and I'll send you a copy of it. But anyway, so I'm uh, talking through my uh, uh, remote hams uh, on, on the uh, PC here and uh, through the uh, 850. So I'm using a Logitech uh, headset and then I have a uh, pass-through uh, equalizer on, on the PC. So I um, would like to uh, try and massage the settings a little bit to... Uh, uh, make sure I'm getting a decent sound out of it. Uh, back to you, V3 IDS, V3 PCP. Uh, V3 PCP, V3 IDS. Yeah, okay, Rob. Uh, not overly strong uh, signal conditions this morning, but uh, Doug wasn't, uh, wasn't that strong as well. So I think that's just conditions. Uh, the audio is okay. It's uh, not really as nice as it uh, could be. Kind of nasally pinched uh, sort of thing. Not there. Uh, I think it's pretty narrow. Uh, uh, not much highs, not much lows. So uh, if you can do something with that, that might improve the sound a bit. There, go ahead, Rob. Yeah, okay, very good. I made an adjustment there. Uh, one thing I do find is that it uh, starts. Uh, uh, overdrive and ELC when I make those adjustments so I'll back my uh, mic setting down here a little bit and then of course uh, it's always a challenge to uh, uh, to get the balance right uh, between what uh, I've got here on the uh, on the headset at home and then once I start using the uh, uh, using the phone uh, uh, access to it so uh, I, I bumped up the lows and the highs a little bit that uh, improve it any v3 IDS v3 PCP yeah, that improved it, Rob. Uh, also brought your signal level up, I think, too. Uh, you're running a pretty solid at the time, though, uh, about the noise now. So, uh, yeah, that did improve it. Uh, Wide without a bit. Uh, the response and uh, certainly sounds a lot, a lot better, too, Rob. Yeah, okay, very good. Um, yeah, again, uh, every time I, I tweak the uh, frequency, it. Uh, um, the equalizer, um, um, it started off, I started off with a fairly flat, uh, but then uh, once you start tweaking uh, the frequency range, there, it's uh, basically a booster, and uh, of course the audio level uh, overall goes up. So anyway, uh, um, it's nice to be able to, uh, to kind of massage the equalizer, because I, I do find that uh, that's been my biggest challenge, is trying to get the audio sound uh, good, uh, you know, going through all the different phases of connectivity here. I did have some struggle uh, with uh, some mics I tried with RF uh, getting into it, but uh, I put double shielding on the audio cables, took some, uh, um, took some braid from RG8 uh, uh, coax, and put it externally on the uh, on the one audio cable that uh, goes into the mic input on the rig, so it comes out of the the PC and into the mic input. So I put a uh, RG8 uh, braid on top of that and uh, grounded one end to the chassis. So um, that seemed to kind of eliminate that. And I put a bunch of RF chokes on the feed line out near the antennas. So trying to eliminate uh, any RFI sources. V3 IDS, V3 PCP. Yeah, correct. Yeah, so um, 
well, it's not going through the internet right now because I'm using the uh, the RC Forbes um, client on my computer. So I guess technically it is kind of going through the internet, and then back to the remote here because uh, the remote uh, the remote runs off a server on the PC, but I'm also using the the client on the PC as well. So I guess technically it is going out through the internet and back. So there is a slight delay. Uh, I'm just going to uh, turn down the gain here a little bit. See if that uh, makes a difference. Hello, 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 hello. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, there's, there's uh, separate controls, not just the um, not just the the uh, bandwidth, but also there's a preamp level setting. So I'm kind of backing it down, so I'm not pegging the uh, the ALC uh, quite so much. Uh, hello, hello, hello. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. I think that's pretty good right there. And then uh, once I get done with this, I'll, uh, I'll log into it uh, using my uh, phone and uh, see if it's acceptable on there. V3 IDS, V3 PCP. V3 PCP, V3 IDS. Yeah, I think that was an improvement there, the, the last bit Rob. Uh, I think it uh, before, uh, sort of the background noise for everything was up. Uh, so you were sort of uh, to a monotone level. The system level for everything and uh, it didn't really sound natural but now it's, it's more uh, like it should be I think uh, and also the ABC on my end doesn't uh, um, it's just sort of like flatline and, and that too so uh, it kind of follows the signal a bit more so uh, yeah that was an improvement Rob go ahead yeah okay very good yeah I made some more adjustments there that time around uh, it's very fine. The adjustments are very fine here. So, okay, let me drop the uh, preamp down a little bit further here. And uh, yeah, I don't want to get a lot of background noise. I shut off the air conditioner in the room here so that I'm not getting that. So, uh, hopefully, I'm not down too low there now. Uh, <laughs> test one, two. Hello, one, two. Yeah, okay. So, I'm thinking that's probably, probably okay there now. Uh, V3 IDS, V3 PCP. Yeah, I think you got plenty of, uh, of drive there, Rob. Uh, I, I tried clicking off the EDC here, and, and it almost sounds like it's still overdriving a little bit. Um, but I, I don't think you got any problem with uh, with enough level, so uh, maybe back off uh, rather than uh, than up. This is probably probably better, Rob. Okay, very good. Yeah, I back the. I'll back it down a little bit more here. Just let me. Uh, let me take it down just a little bit more. Uh, one, two, three. Hello, one, two, one, two. Hello, one, two. One, two, three, four. Yeah, okay. So, uh, anyway, yeah, I don't want to overdrive, which uh, I think I still am. And uh, hopefully, uh, the, so how is the, uh, how's the tone? Is it, uh, have I got the, uh, the, the band? Uh, right now I'm uh, kind of... Uh, uh, upside down uh, uh, shallow sine wave on the uh, f on the uh, on the bands from uh, you know point two uh, up to uh, up to nine uh, kilohertz. So um, the point two and the and the nine being sort of uh, similar levels, and then uh, a bit of a dip uh, um, down to uh, the the middle and back up again. So hopefully uh, hopefully that's okay there. V three IDS V three PCP. Maybe three PCP, maybe three RDS. Okay, Rob. Well, it's uh, maybe the gain uh, might gain back up a little bit um, from that time. Um, it's still a little nasally sounding. I'm not sure. Being not being a phone guy, it's uh, maybe not as much help to you as uh, as some might be. But it's. It just has a little bit of, it still has a bit of a nasally flat sound to it. Um, just doesn't seem to have, have your normal voice uh, quality to it. So uh, I'm not really sure how to describe it better than that, Rob Gray. Okay, very good. Yeah, I, uh, I bumped up uh, the lower frequencies there a little bit. Now I'm going to turn the uh, preamp down a little bit again because uh, once it starts bumping it up, then it gets too high. So how is that? Uh, uh, I added added some more uh, low frequency there, so I'm not sure uh, whether that uh, made any difference at all. Yeah, it didn't really make that much 
shepherd truck. Uh, just try to open up the dead a little bit there. You've got it too low. Okay, so how's that uh, now? One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. V three IDS, V three PCP. Oh, I like that, Rob. That's uh, much, much better there. Okay, a little bit more uh, tweaking there now, and uh, I'm not sure how that uh, affects the uh, the signal. Um, getting, uh, you know. T tickling up to the top end of ELC on peaks, but uh, but on average it's probably mid scale, something like that, mid scale to three quarter, something like that. Yeah, that's much improved, Rob. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's driving any harder, but uh, that's certainly a lot better voice quality. It sounds like you know. Okay, so I bumped the uh, the low end up uh, a little bit more. Just, uh, I'm not sure if you noticed that. What uh, what rig are you on today? Are you on uh, uh, one of the the older Yesus V3 IDS V3 PCP? Yeah, V3 PCP V3 IDS. I'm on the old uh, 101 ZD, and uh, yeah, that I think the bump in the low end uh, was uh, you know didn't improve it. I think it was. Uh, on the opposite way, I think you sounded better before you, you bumped the low end up, so I take that back down again. Um, on the headphones this morning, so it should get, you know, pretty true sound. Uh, they're, they're decent uh, headphones, ones that I use all the time, but, um, yeah, I would say you were, you were quite good. I, was, I liked that before the last transmission, uh, second to last. Okay, very good. Yeah, I think I got uh, things back down to uh, the way they were before. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. V three IDS V three PCP. Yeah, that sounds good, Rob. Uh, it's uh, I would say like um, a good communication quality signal, and uh, certainly not an AM thing. But you're not. I'm, I'm sure you're not striving for that. You're. Uh, going to be using a multiple portable that sort of thing so um, it's it's a quite a good sound uh, for communication type bandwidth yeah okay very good uh yeah it'd be interesting to see uh, how it sounds on the uh um on the uh the phone because the phone when it, uh, this uh, uh this equalizer actually uh, uh will uh will work on any uh any connectivity between um, the PC and the radio. So, uh, because the um, um, the server is is actually outputting the audio into the radio, then uh, anything that comes through the server uh, should be shaped by the equalizer. If uh, if I'm explaining that, uh, I'm sure you understand. So I'll uh, if you uh, I'll finish this transmission, then I'll uh, I'll have to close my uh, port my window down here and then I'll uh, access it through my uh, cell phone and we can do a, com a quick comparison. V3 IDS, V3 PCP. Sounds good, Rob. Yeah, <coughs> I'll stand by and wait uh, for you to give me a call. V3 PCP, V3 IDS. V3 IDS, uh, V3 PCP. Yeah, okay, very good. Yeah, I was noticing that uh, uh, before as well, and uh, th that the phone uh, was, was easier to uh, to have make it sound good than it was with the uh, uh, with the headset. But uh, I this headset by itself sounds like crap, to be quite honest. So, um, 
but it was uh, one of the ones that had the cleanest uh, audio sound of, of a couple different alternatives I had here. I tried an XLR microphone uh, with a preamp on it and it uh, it sounded good just uh, by itself but once you uh, started going through the radio then uh, I definitely got RF feedback into it so I kind of ditched that one but this one's a direct USB uh, headset and um, I, I bought a different one for my son it's a Sennheiser and it seems to have a much better quality sound so I may have to ditch this Logitech and go with the Sennheiser but anyway um, uh, yeah so when I'm in the truck then uh, I connect the uh, um, connect the audio uh, through the, the Bluetooth uh, in the truck so I've made lots and lots of contacts uh, with um, uh, with the cell phone but again um, that was kind of one of the things that I was uh, worried about here uh, I'm gonna have to go into my uh, server and uh, turn down the um, the volume a little bit here just to give me a second here I'll have to go into audio configurations here Okay, so uh, TX audio output. So I'm going to turn this down just a little bit. Testing one, two, three, four. That uh, probably turned it down. I would think a little bit there, Don. Back to you. V3 IDS, V3 PCP.